Welcome to the basement shop. In today's video, we're going to go from that dumpy basement to this banger of a workshop. We're going to bring the toolbox down. We're going to do a bunch of painting. We're going to put a top on. We're going to do a woodpecker wall. We're going to do a pack out cabinet. We're going to add some lights. We got a lot of work to get to. Let's go. I'm going to start by throwing some supports in underneath the bench. It's a little shaky. She's a little old. We'll level out the top. You can see over in here, I had to throw in some shims in the back. It was pretty far off. Sand the top down. Then I'm going to move all the crap, I mean, all the tools out. It's amazing how much you can acquire when you start getting into tools and into building. I'm also going to go through and vacuum up everything. Pretty dirty down here. And then I'm going to tape everything off that I don't want any black paint to get on. You know, they do say an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Now that we got all the site protection down, I'm officially dressed like a painter in sweats and work boots. I'm gonna put the first coat of black on the bottom and I'm gonna put the polyurethane on the top. We're just using a bare cabinet door and trim enamel and a satin with a half inch nap roller. I wanna use that so that it just covers up a little bit better. It should go pretty, oh, no, no, you guys cannot look at that. That's a new tool. We're not opening that yet. We'll play with that later, but first we gotta get to work. Come on, sit down, let's go. What can I say? I probably should have been a painter. We got two coats of black on the bottom. We have a one coat of polyurethane on the top. I'm gonna scuff that up with some 220 real quick. Then we're gonna put the second coat on and then we're gonna do the big reveal. I'm gonna peel all this paper off the bottom. I'm gonna get all this crap off the shelves and then we're gonna get that ready for a gray color that we got going. So it's gonna be gray, this wood-ish color and then black on the bottom. So now for our top that we've sanded it swept it, vacuumed it. We're just gonna go over it with a damp cloth real quick. You can see over here in the back, I've already started. Don't go too heavy, don't get too crazy. Just wipe it down, try to get any excess dust off. Then we're gonna throw the second coat of polyurethane on. Take me back to my old bus boy days. Now, I get to be a man-child, rip all this paper off like it's Christmas morning, and check it out. I'm very, very happy with how this black turned out now that I get all the paper picked up, all the tape ripped off. You see here on the floor, it did leave a few spots where it did. I mean, it's okay though, it's just an old shop floor. like that we've successfully moved all the crap from this side of the room to that side of the room now I'm gonna go through I'm gonna wipe down any cobwebs I'm gonna tape off any areas we don't want any excess paint to get on and yes I am doing this in slippers I'm in my basement don't worry the sweats are coming back but as of right now I gotta get all this prep what's wrong with you I'm sad why are you sad because I'm in sweats again ah you feel like a bum yeah it's okay I mean, you're almost done painting. Easy for you to say. Well, ain't nothing left to it but to do it. <laughs> do you know how hard it is to pick paint colors? This was supposed to be a light gray. This is definitely a white. I guess we're gonna go back to the store and try to get a gray. Looks like I get to wear sweats again. I'm so sorry. Back at it with the painting. Here we go, round two. This is a Benjamin Moore paint. Covers extremely well. If you've never used Benjamin Moore before, it's worth the price. Believe the hype. 
So a little change of plans. After I got everything all finished, I decided we were not gonna paint these old walls. We're just gonna leave them with this awesome wood paneling from the 60s up there. I don't want it to be too much of a contrast. So we're just gonna leave those walls the way that they are. We're gonna have the shop looking good. These other parts, they just kind of blend in. I'm okay with that. It's better than what it was when we started. Now for the fun part, we get to go through, we're gonna put everything back down below. We're gonna put everything back on the shelves. We're gonna make a cool tool wall over here. I'm sure we won't hit it 100% on the first time, but we're gonna go through and see where that gets us. You're pretty impressed I got all six of those on the first shot, aren't you? I know. No, no, just kidding. Luckily, I was able to use the holes that were there from last time. Makes it a lot easier. So here I've gotten all the stuff back on the shelves and I'm gonna leave the shelf open right here. This is gonna be sort of like a catch-all if I'm working on some stuff. I can always throw the tools up there. I need to find and make a spot for the sandpaper. I don't really like how that looks over here. It's kind of sloppy. Um, I'm gonna start to put some tools back up on the wall and the 96 inch uh, rail, I'm actually gonna put on this side. It's gonna hold up here by the clamps. It's a pretty good spot for your clamps if, you, if, you're, out of, if you're short on room. Just kind of put them in the beams like that. And yes, this is currently the Yeti tripod holder that I'm using. Little overpriced but hey it's what we got to do for now so my woodpecker folder here for the 851 and 641 does not have any mounting holes but that's okay we're just gonna take the old countersink drill bit and we're gonna go right through it we should be okay like they're there from the factory So in my opinion, every cool shop needs an OG pencil sharpener. If that don't remind you elementary school, I don't know what will. With the shop transformation nearly complete, we got a few more things. My wife, Played Prosecco. Go follow her on Instagram. She makes pretty good recipes and drinks. Got me a stainless steel belt square and I got myself a few more things. Let's see what we got. 12 inch TS. As you can see, we did get a few new tools, so let's check them out. 24 inch ruler, six inch ruler, six inch edge ruler, 12 inch edge ruler, two edge rule stops, and a six inch pleating pocket rule. finish the wall off I want to create some sort of holder sustainer system that I can paint black for these edge rulers so that they can sit on there and then maybe like a little pouch for the rule stops You can never have too much light. This side, I feel I'm pretty adequate, but this side is not so much. I got the new woodpeckers on the wall. I want those to be showing off. I think they look pretty cool for a backdrop. So I picked up a light from Home Depot. I actually have one over on the other side of my basement that I use above the washer and dryer. So I know the exact color tone of it and all that, what it's gonna be. So I'm gonna hook that up real quick and bring some light. These lights require no wiring. They're just a 12 volt plug-in. So they're literally plug and play the homemade edge ruler holder finger majig of about right there hey did you notice i painted it of course i did so we're approaching the end of finishing the shop makeover and i got a great spot right there for a toolbox you know what's heavy a toolbox so i'm gonna bring it down in sections i'm gonna undo all the drawers i think and then i'm gonna put all the top stuff over here the middle stuff over here the bottom stuff right here, I'll bring it down, wipe it all down, get it all set up, 
That way, if I ever have to run anything out into my garage, it's not very far. I can just go up and down those steps, but also clear some spots out in the garage because we got some new tools. But we're not talking about those right now. We gotta get this crap downstairs. Let's go. We gotta give it a shot. Is it on three or one, two, three, go? On three? Okay. One, two, three. That's definitely not gonna happen. I'm gonna have to make a bunch of shifts. I just decided to carry this one. As we can see from years in the garage, this thing's pretty gross. Just got some dust, cobwebs, all that on it. I'm gonna go through, clean everything up, wipe it all down, make it look as best as we can. Hey friends, I appreciate you watching me do the shop transformation video. I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I did building it. Just to show you don't have to have a huge massive shop to have a nice space for yourself. So until next time, get out there, buy cool tools, build cool stuff, and tell your friends about it. See you. Finish in the shop. Oh, no. Sorry. Sorry.